Hello. Welcome to Tips from the Team. My name is Ben Siegel, and today I want to walk through how we can run utility network tracing analysis from a mobile device using the ArcGIS Field Maps mobile application. I'll start in ArcGIS Pro with my utility network map. In this example, I'll be creating trace configurations for my water utility network. I want to create a tool for those out in the field to identify which valves to close in order to isolate a pipe during an emergency main break or planned maintenance activity. In order to create the trace configuration, I'll open up the Add Trace Configuration Geoprocessing tool. I'll select the utility network in my map and create a trace configuration name. I'll select the isolation trace type. I want the trace to run on my water domain at the system tier. I want the results to include all of the isolated features. This will help me identify not just which valves to close, but what other parts of my system will be affected by the maintenance or main break. I'll also need to add a filter letting the trace know when to stop running. In this case, I want the trace to identify the closest valves that are operable in order to shut off the water to the area. Now from here, I'll run the tool. It's important that we test these trace configurations before sharing them to the field. So next I'll open up the trace geoprocessing tool. First I'll select the water utility network as the input network, define that I want to use a trace configuration, and select the trace configuration that we just created. I'll then identify the pipe that we're replacing by adding a start location. and then run the trace. Now that I've confirmed that these are the expected results, I'll now want to share this tool to those out in the field. One way I can do this is by navigating to the Utility Network tab in Pro, opening up the trace settings, and selecting the trace configuration tools that I want to share with this map. In this case, I'll select the trace configuration that I just created, as well as another trace for identifying assets within the subnetwork. I can then simply share the map to my portal and make these traces available to those throughout my organization. Alternatively, I can add this trace to an existing map using the map viewer in my enterprise portal. Here in the map viewer, I can navigate to the map settings, then view all of my trace configurations under the utility network tab. Here, I can enable or disable trace configurations that I want to include with my map to be used out in the field. I'll select the trace I configured earlier and then save my map. Now that I've configured my trace and included it in my map, here at ArcGIS Field Maps as a mobile worker at a water utility, I can select the water main that I've been assigned to replace and run the trace tool from here. And just like that, I was able to create and share trace tools to be used by those out in the field. Thanks so much for watching this edition of Tips from the Team from the ArcGIS Field Maps team at Esri.